I'm Justin and I'm here to show you today the concept art brush pack for painter essentials. This brush pack has a little less than the concept art brush pack for painter and particle shop. However, I was observing that since that this is actually a I think simplified software, I was noticing that these brushes run a little smoother and a little more fun. So, uh, don't feel like you're missing out on too much. These are still, these brushes still work awesome. I'm going to show you guys, if you guys didn't already see the other video, exactly how these work. You can see the key image, kind of a flavor of what kind of brush pack that we've got going here. And it, there's really a lot going on, but let's settle it down. Let's go to our other picture here that's simplified. This is the image, of course, without any effect. So uh, we're going to be going over the brushes over this. I'm going to start with the first brush, which is just called brush. This is just a fun brush. You can quickly pick and add kind of a calligraphy that goes with the rest of these brushes here. And you can kind of play with the grain depending on what you've got selected in here. So I can select another paper and it's got a different texture. Um, really useful if you're using different textures or materials for your concept artwork. Creative is not applicable for this picture. You could probably actually use it within a painting if you were trying to get real creative. But if you have ever, and I imagine you have, started a canvas and not known what to start with, I recommend you start with the black and white colors. And I'm using Shift and X to go back and forth on its own layer. And you can start whipping these sh awesome shapes out. You can kind of see this just run so smooth in Painter Essentials. One reason I still use it if I'm not doing anything too serious in the bigger version of Painter. And you can go back and forth and come up with some ideas. I'm not going to come up with an idea on the spot here or get too carried away. So let's delete that layer. You can kind of see what that brush does, how that would help you. We've got an electric brush. Again, not too applicable to a forest scene. But let's kind of look at what kind of charge it has. It's got kind of a fun, simple, you can make it small and have these little staticky, or you can make it big and kind of charge something up. You could use this for so much in a concept art idea. I almost don't even need to really explain what kind of, this is just something you just need in concept art is an electric charge while you're creating everything. Flare, same thing. It's a nice glow with a nice soft hue to it, so it pl still plays with the, uh, not soft hue, excuse me, soft feel to it. So y you can still play with the atmosphere while that you are uh, adding kind of a nice texturized glow here. Something I believe that, whoops, every single brush pack needs. Let's go into paint. You've probably had lots of areas like this where things are just really smooth and you just want to add a little expression. You can take this and I, I like to add a little white. You can kind of see this has a cool fun painterly expression back there. Now this looks almost like as though you've got some kind of paint scraping going on or something. And puddle. This one is something that I personally need in my own workspace because as you can see with this river I made I'm not very good at creating water I've tried and tried and tried and I go back and forth and then I end up smoothing it out but this is kind of great for you kind of get what kind of hue of water we're going to kind of exaggerate the color it's on glow you can turn that on and off but let's go along the edge of this little river right here and we're just going to run in and out. And if you're, you can kind of get good at this. Some of my attempts have been better than others, I've noticed. But you can add some water effects. Maybe this one's not as good because I've got the, the color is just not matching up. But you can see, especially down here, it's just kind of got a nice wavy back and forth. And then on its own layer, you can take an eraser and back out where you need to. And you get a nice river effect. 
for, again, those people like me, if you're like me, I struggle with water so much. Uh, let's move on to sparkle. This one is fun. We're going to use it with the water. And I'm going to take this. Let's see where. Let's just add it right there. You can kind of see this has a cool classic up down diagonal sparkle you can add to things. You kind of want your effects to be kind of obvious as to what your intention is. And if you're doing well fundamentally, this should look just fine being like that. It's kind of a fun little sparkle. Let's move on to static. This one is fun because a lot of times, if you're like me again, you will have some areas that are too dark or too soft. And so depending on what kind of thing you need to change about it, whether it's a sky or whatever, this is a good brush. It doesn't have really a whole lot of color and that's intentional. So you can just kind of come in here and on a low opacity, let's make it about 40%, not too low. You can kind of just get rid of some of that black. Scrub it out without really painting while adding some texture. You're adding to your picture, always taking the next step. Kind of fun to play with. So that's static. That's a very useful brush. Turbulence is fun. It's something you can play with not only atmosphere, but let's say uh, this is a cave and you've got an opening. Let's make some of that turbulence come in. This is like some cool way of expressing like some wind or something and it's got a glow option so if you want it to be warm turbulence coming through this forest it's kind of fun to play with and last but not least for the painter essentials pack we've got zip and this one is not too applicable i imagine this is in more of a city place but i like to show this going through the opacities and seeing what kind of different strokes you can get. That's, you know, on a 20%, I'm using my keyboard, one through zero, but let's go up to 70%, for example. You've got a nice bold stroke. You could use that on something electronic or um, anything else that you can even grab an eraser and back out. You can choose to be subtle about it. So anyways, that is the concept art brush pack for Painter Essentials. I'm really excited to see what people are making when they get these packs. Thank you so much for watching.